How are you doing, Yoel? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's good to see uh, speak with you again. We spoke a few years ago in the city, but uh, now we got a, a little face to face here on the camera here. So, what I have to ask you is, and I feel like you get this asked a lot because you you're, you keep doing it. You're coming off of yet another third round finish. You know, your last seven finishes have come in the same round. It's it, it's kind of ridiculous. What is it about round three that you just have these better results of of ending a fight uh, than the other rounds? <laughs> I just think it's, you know, like a connection between God and I that allows me to do that. That's what I believe. You know what they say, right? God, you know, uh, God created uh, everything in six days and resting in the seventh. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm yeah, joking. always near the end, right? I, I, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, solamente creo que son cosas que pasan. Uh, no, you know, kidding aside, there is really no explanation, just a happy coincidence. And, um, you know, that's one of those things that happens. Sure, sure. And, and, and of course, this last one over Alex uh, Polizzi here, I think it was one of your best performances in years. I mean, uh, what do you credit uh, for performing, performing so well uh, in this fight? Bueno, uh, creo que es un... uh, it was really a combination of things, you know, like uh, also a, both like a little bit of, of frustration out, out of not having been able to give everything that, that I could have given to the fans in my fight against Davis with the, the whole mix up with the rounds and you know everything that happened during during that fight. So it was kind of something that was building up in me. And then it all was flowing out during during that fight that you mentioned against Polisi where everything just came out and I came out I came out on fire trying to trying to give the fans what I couldn't give them in that in that previous time. That was factor number one. Factor number two is the fact that I'm gaining experience in this sport, in MMA. I've gotten, what, 20 fights already? And that's, you know, that's experience. That's something that's, that's very useful and that allows me to channel everything that I've been learning into the success that I've been having and continue hoping to have uh, going forward. Now, obviously, this fight was at 205 pounds. Uh, your next fight's at 205 pounds. The Davis fight you mentioned as well. Um, your career, you made your career at 185 pounds, though. But where, what's so different, uh, I guess, for you in terms of the way you feel? Is it similar or different competing at 205 now instead of 185? Uh, the sheer brute force is the difference. Don't, uh, don't mistake it with the power of the punches. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the sheer power of the collision when let's say when we when both bodies collide against a, a, against the you know like uh, the the fence in the octagon and the sheer force of that of, of that impact that's the biggest difference where you know those those 20 pounds you can you can feel them when when two bodies collide and and it's and it's kind of like you know two trains going at each other we we've, we've been working a lot on um, what I call standstill force. What's standstill force? It's when you're pinned up against the fence, for example, or when, or when you're, or when you're kind of jammed up. It's that. That's where. That's where we have put an emphasis. Where, where that kind of standstill power uh, can allow you can allow you to get out of certain situations uh, that with this added weight. That's interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting perspective there. Um, you and you, you were supposed to fight uh, Manhoff, of course, in that fight in, in uh, earlier this year. It was supposed to be him instead of Polizzi here. How important was it for you to have this fight rescheduled? Bueno, para mí es importante siempre primeramente salir. Uh, look, uh, I nothing personal against Melvin here, but I could care less who I fight because the goal is to beat everybody that gets in my way, keep surpassing obstacles, and moving uh, and and moving up in the rankings. That's all I. That's all I care about. And if if it's Melvin or whoever else that gets in my way, my duty is to get past them and go on to bigger and better things. So, what are some of those bigger and better things you're chasing? What are your goals in Bellator? To be a, to, uh, you know, to be a champion in in two divisions: in the middleweight division and the light heavyweight division. Simple as that. So you're not giving up on uh, competing at 185. You really do still want to bounce between. No, para nada. Uh, no, absolutely. I, you know, I left it very clear 
uh, with Bellator when when I signed with them that they made me feel very welcome and I was like I want to fight in both divisions. Uh, the the order of things really doesn't doesn't matter to me to where like okay two of five is what is what I have in front of me now. Okay, let's go after it. And then when it comes time to being a 185, I go after that too. So uh, really, I'll just go after after what I have in front of me. And then whenever 185 comes my way, I'll be ready for that too. Uh, you know, it's thrilling to me, the fact that I get the opportunity to do both things because the difference in speed, in power, in size, it's it's big between 185 and 205. And the fact that I, have, I, I get to show my prowess and my ability in both, not something that I take for granted. It's a privilege and I, uh, and I aim to, to do my best in both, in both divisions to show what, I, what I'm worth every single time I go out to the octagon. Now we've seen, you know, Bellator has been very willing to let its athletes uh, compete in, you know, other sports. You know, we, we have Michael Page, uh, who just competed in bare knuckle. Are you interested in kind of being able to venture outside of mixed martial arts, maybe into boxing? I know you, you are, your boxing is, is one of your, your strongest assets here. You know, is that interest you? Bueno, ya de hecho, uh, bueno. Boxing uh, is something that I cherish very much because it's something that takes roots from my childhood. And, you know, my family has, has a boxing history. So I would love to do that someday. And you heard the name, right, Jake Paul? Well, what happened there was that when Jake Paul was going to fight Tyron Woodley, before he went to Woodley, he came to me. And there were, uh, you know, like some kind of approaches to, uh, to, to making that fight happen. But then in the end, he backed off. I don't know, maybe he was scared. But he didn't want to fight me after all. That didn't happen. So, and then, and then, yeah. So I just, you know, continue doing my thing. I don't know what Jake Paul was or was I'm thinking. But I would, like I said before, I would love to, to uh, you know, venture into boxing because it's something that that's a part of me as well. All right. Well, listen, Yoel, I, whatever, wherever your journey takes you, I wish you the best of luck. And I especially wish you luck uh, in a couple of weeks in Ireland when you when you compete against Manhuff. Uh, I'll, I'll be watching. Good luck. Thank you so much.